Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I am currently at the Chelinate on the east side of the Untersee. Now, I went over what my rough plan for the next one or two episodes is going to be at the end of the last episode, so I'm not going to go through everything again, but the basic idea is that I already have the Stygian Ivory that I need for the uh, the one quest to get the weapon at the Iron Republic. So I've just gotten the Stygian Ivory from the Chelinate, where I'm at right now. I still need the Devil Bone Dice, so I'm going to head to London, resupply, go to Mount Palmerston, get the Devil Bone Dice, back to London, resupply, then to the Iron Republic to complete the quest and get the weapon, and also to pick up some fuel for the Empire of Hands, Uttershroom, do some Blemigan stuff, Adam's Way, do some cannibalism stuff, Empire of Hands, drop off the fuel, and yeah, that's that's my rough plan. Probably not going to be able to do it this episode, uh, not all of it, but should be able to get most of it done, I feel like. So the thing to do right now is just head back to London and uh, resupply. Let's go. I'm actually going to stop by the Empire of Hands before I go back to London. Because I realized I forgot something. There's something I wanted to do there. With the uh, the pirate guy that I got the treasure map from. By giving him the Searing Enigma. I realized that one of the things I could do with him is kind of like... Dine with him, I think. I think I could eat with him. And I was curious what that did, and I totally forgot to actually do it. So I'm going to go back there and do it. My terror is uncomfortably high. I don't like it. Yeah, nothing to do there. Let's just go to... Oh, wait. Can I not even go search for treasure anymore now that I found it? Oh, I thought you can go back there and maybe try digging the other spots. Apparently not. It's not even an option anymore. It's either the court or the, uh, the village with the pirates. Wait a minute. This option is still here. The Lost Treasure Hunter. I still have the Ancient-ish treasure map. Hmm. I don't need the treasure map anymore, right? Because I can't go treasure hunting. Isn't that right? Yeah. Uh, I, I guess I might as well do it to see what happens. Let's see what it does. Oh, wait, is that... Maybe this is just him being weird. I don't know if this actually does anything. Uh, he looks up, eyes gleaming. I have it, he declares. The Fountain of Youth. That's what the treasure was telling me. See how it glows? It's a map. I just need a ship and a crew, and... You back away, leaving him to it. Is he talking about the searing enigma that I gave him? Because that thing is not a map. Uh, okay. It's weird that it doesn't do anything, though. Like, there's all these requirements. Wounds no more than two, and you have to have the treasure map, but it doesn't actually do anything to do it. Huh. Alright, let's dine. Okay, that did... Oh, God, I gained more terror. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A toast to a forsaken yesterday. <clears throat> the boisterous pirate clears his throat. And all go quiet as he stands. To her enduring majesty, he shouts. To the ever-shining lights of home. A cheer rises as the pirates raise their mugs, drain them dry. But there is something quiet in the silence. They have long decided that what they have done here disqualifies them from ever again walking on Wolfstack docks, from singing in the Mandrake, and from meeting the eyes of those they loved. It is not fear that keeps them from asking the visiting captain for safe passage back home. It is agreement, unanimous. The boisterous pirate slams his hands together in an echoing slap. Amen, he declares, as everyone reaches for the meats that have them salivating so.
Gained 5 terror and also gained unaccountably peckish. New total 3. Okay, I think that's a good thing. I think having 3 peckishness is actually good, because somebody in the comments for one of the previous episodes told me that they thought what I needed, uh, the amount of peckishness that I needed to do the thing at Adam's Way, the whole cannibalism storyline, they thought it was 3 peckishness. So the fact that I have 3 means that I might be good when I go to Adam's Way. Yeah, so it looks like there's two ways that I know of to gain peckishness, and that's eating with the pirates or eating at the Chapel of Lights. So this is actually good. <laughs> my extremely high terror is not good, but eh, I'll live. I just need to keep my lights on. I guess I can dine again, but uh, I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want more peckishness. No thanks. The same person was also wondering if I could uh, go back to the... the... Uh, the monkey foundling? Yeah. If I can go back to her kind of her hut on one of the islands. Because remember there were those um, apes outside her hut, kind of just like guarding it, chasing me away or something like that? And they were wondering if I could go back there now that the monkey foundling is actually part of my crew, and maybe we could do something at her place. Which sounds logical and really interesting, but I don't think you can, because that the, the monkey foundling's island was a place that you can sail, right? And it's not even here anymore. There's only the court and the village. So it seems like it's just gone, unfortunately. But that would have been cool. I like the monkey foundling. She's awesome. I've had so many adventures with her. Alright, do I need any supplies to get back to London? Because they're very cheap here. Ten supplies. Uh, yeah, wouldn't hurt to buy some. There's really no reason not to. They cost the same as they do back at London. I think I need an audience with the mayor. Fresh supplies, 20, yeah. <laughs> Got plenty of hold space, so there's really no reason to be stingy. And, uh, we're good. Alright, now it's time to go back to London. I do need fuel, of course. Of course, I'm not gonna buy it from the Empire of Hands, that'd be crazy. And I do need to keep my lights on because of the high terror, so I think I need to stop at Khan's Shadow. Let's go ahead and do that. Once I know my terror is not going to reach 100 before I get back to London, I should turn off my lights, because it's going to reset down to 50 anyway. Unless I get into a ton of combat, which would end probably end up making it go below 50. I feel like combat is more effective at reducing your terror, depending on how high your terror is. Like, I feel like the higher your terror, the better, the more effective combat is at reducing your terror. I don't actually know if that's true, but it feels like that. Because I know I've killed stuff when my terror was really low in the past, and it didn't really seem like it did much of anything. But I've also seen killing stuff reduce your terror by about 10, I think. In fact, I feel like it's a flat amount that it reduces your terror by. I feel like it doesn't matter how strong the enemy is, it just always seems to reduce it by 10, if your terror is fairly high to begin with. Oh, I've got somebody... To, I already picked up somebody to drop off from the Mangrove College, right? Somebody wants to go to Port Cecil? Yes. Checkered character. Ironically titled. I don't know if there's much point in stopping here. I know I have a port report, and I know I don't want to look for supplies. Because that doesn't work. You know, I should bring some candles back here and do this again. Oh, beachcombing, that's right. I, yeah, let's go beachcombing instead of gathering for supplies. Hmm. Goo, glinting, driftwood. Let's go for driftwood. 45 fragments. A wooden horse. It was a child's toy once. Someone inscribed their name on it. And a string of numbers. Ciphers. Intriguing.
suppose I should stop by Khan's Glory to see if my spy network needs anything that I can provide. Trying to see if there's anything else I want to do here. Anything I want to sell by... Nah. Oh yeah, let's take a look at this thing again. Alright, aft slot. Fuel efficiency plus 10%, which is significant. But a heart's minus 10. Hmm. I don't think that's worth it. 10% efficiency is nice, but minus 10 hearts is major. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Should be plenty of fuel to get back to London. Yeah, let's go for Khan's Glory, or Khan's Heart. Which one is it? That one's Glory. Okay, so Khan's Heart, yeah. I feel like lately I've always been running on high terror. I don't really know why. Maybe it's because I keep hanging around areas to farm the something awaits you in port. Because that really increases your terror super fast. I feel like... I feel like they might distrust me to the point where I can't trade anymore. I don't remember what I did to make them hate me, but I feel like I did something. Oh, in fact, I think... Yeah, your name has entered the list of causes for concern. Yeah, so I did something. I think maybe I failed one of these spy things and that increased my suspicion. Uh, I don't remember. Alright, let's see what they need. Your cunning is required. 19%. Uh, no, let's see what else they want. Diplomatic agent. Well, I've got one. <laughs> Once again, 19%. Jesus Christ, my bells is so bad. Oh. Here you go. Lamb to the slaughter. Oh, great, I gained more suspicion and I lost my network. Alright, cool. Bye. My veils is trash. 33. At least my mirrors is amazing. At least I'm good at something. I'm certainly no jack of all trades, though, that's for sure. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting everything done in this episode, but I should be able to easily get up to Mount Palmerston, uh, get the Devil Bone Dice, and then come back to London. In fact, maybe I should just go there right now. Yeah, let's just go to Mount Palmerston right now. We can make it there, no problem. Supplies won't be an issue. Fuel we can buy there for cheaper. Unless my terror is going to get too high. Nah, we'll be fine. We'll probably get into some combat along the way too, because we're going to be going through Gator's Morn, which typically has multiple pirate ships. And while I'm at Gators Morn, I want to take a look at an aft slot equipment thing. Oh, hello. I want to take a look at the uh, compartment. Concealed compartment. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Uh, did it see me? Nope. Yeah, terror is not going to be a problem after this. This should. Let's see what he reduces it by. So it's at 82. 74, so reduced it by 8. That's pretty good. One fuel, two supplies, and more fuel. Bring it on, jellyfish. I always forget what letting it disperse does. Ah, fragments in a Z story. 
Nice 68 tear. Yeah, no problem now. Not worried about tear. In fact, I should probably just run with my lights off. Gonna be back in London pretty soon. 69. It's a perverted amount of terror. Ooh. Aw, 70. Any pirates wanting me booty? Because you can't have it. You can have some shells, though. Shot into your ship. Oh, shit. I sh you know... <laughs> Let's go stop at Port Cecil and drop off this person while we're here. Might as well do it. We're in the neighborhood. I feel slow. I felt fast at first, but now I feel slow. I want a new engine. Whoop. Might be some eels around here to fight. Often there's one right about here. Hmm. Also seen one over here to the right. Alright. Drop you off. Thank you for the 100 echo. Have fun playing checker. Let's get a port report. Am I supposed to do something more here for the principals? Do the principals want something more? I didn't feel like I completed that quest, but I don't know what they want. Hmm. Could explore. Eh, might as well. Oh, the oral rup rupture again. Hmm. Given, a man, given how high my mirrors is and the fact that it's only a 54% chance of success. That's a hard challenge, but let's do it. Whew! Ten tear. Okay. Your eyes water, your skin stings and tingles, something's very wrong here. Yes. Okay, well, I, uh, I, I want to fight something now. Really badly. Because now my, my tear is very disturbingly high. I'm going to run with my lights on. Let's go over to Gators Morn. Yeah, seriously, like, I, I need to fight something. Like, right now. There should be a pirate ship around Gators Morn. There should be, there should be. And there's often a, some other ship around Mount Palmerston, too. One that's quite a bit tougher. But I still wouldn't have any trouble taking it. I really don't want my terror to max out. I really don't. I'm pretty sure half your crew leaves if that happens. Which means I'd be running at half speed. Okay. I don't want to take any chances here because the risk of increasing my terror is pretty high. So what did I want to do here? I think I just wanted to check out the compartment, right? The concealed compartment? Yeah.
Yeah, so somebody suggested I buy this for my aft slot because I don't really use my aft weapon because I fight things on the front, not on the back of my ship. And I think they're totally right. Plus, I've done a lot of uh, smuggling of goods. So something to help me conceal smuggled and illegal goods is a very good idea. I don't have a lot of money right now, though, so I don't want to buy this just yet, but that is something that I do definitely want. So I'm just going to keep that in the back of my mind. Let's go over to Mount Palmerston and get the Devil Bone Dice. Of which we need... Uh, 12. They're pretty cheap. Shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, I'm going to hope that boat is up here. I need to blow something up. Fight me. Ooh, there it is. This is too easy. Two fuel. That's it? Just two fuel? Lame. Still though, that did wonders for my tear. Actually, that reduced it by like 15, didn't it? Wasn't it 85? Yeah, so I think the higher your tear, the more it reduces your tear to kill stuff. Alright, now I can leave my lights off before I get back to London. Or while I get back to London, rather. <sighs> do, do, do. I don't want to go up there because I know she's not there. Nothing but a bunch of bees left protecting the place. Uh, exploring the island will probably make me find horrible stuff. So let's not do any of that. Let's buy... Well, it's cheaper here than back at London, so I might as well buy a shit ton. I just need enough to get to... Um, the Iron Republic, though. Because after I get back to London, that's the first place I'm going to be going, and it's even cheaper at the Iron Republic, so... Um, I'll just go for 20. That'll get me there, no problem. Alright, now we need... 12 double bone dice, right? Yeah, 12. Okay, and, uh, I think we're good. So, 7 Stygian Ivory, 12 double bone dice. Let's just confirm that that is what I need. Should be under objectives, I think. I think. No. No. Is it under learning about? Eh, whatever. This is what this is what I need. I'm sure of it. Alright, so straight back to London. Frostfound Wither, do I need any of that? Nah. Just take a stop through Station 3, get a port report, I suppose. I haven't been to Station 3 for a long time. I still miss the Acolyte. And I still feel like she could have been an officer on board. If I went a different pathway with that quest with her. Ah. <sighs> Oh, right, forgot about the lights. <laughs> Teleporting ship, not even moving. Just chilling. Oh, now it's moving. It's coming towards me. <gasps> What's it gonna do? I wonder if it's ill-intentioned. Oh, I can't get a port report. Alright, goodbye. You gotta teleport? Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, that was actually on time. 
Hey, what's going on? Get out of my way. Whoa. Whoa. This is new. Roused at midnight. As the first watch ends, shouts for... For Ard? What? For Ard? I guess that's a term I've never heard before. For Ard, rouse you. Your bosun's face is grim as you emerge on deck. We lost one. Weighed itself with pans and went overboard. Took Cook's best kettle, too. Morale is worsening, sir. Ugh. <laughs> Place a guard on the cookware. <laughs> um, I don't think that's necessary. Let's just give him extra supplies. That's, yeah, that's fine. There there goes the crew and the cookware. Lost five terror. Okay. Oh! I didn't know he could turn so fast. You little fuck. You little fuck. Oh, my aft weapon's actually charging. Oh, take that, dick. Get a port report. Let's go do this. Sure. Tale of Terror, Z story, cool. Are you friendly? No, you are not. Come here. Actually, my supplies are pretty low. Yeah, my supplies are really low. I'm just gonna keep going back to London. And the reduction in terror is completely pointless because it's gonna be reduced to 50 anyway. Let's get a Z-Story. Trade my recent news for a Z-Story here. Boink. Boink. Oh. That one wasn't bouncy. Ah, <sighs> breath of relief. All right, down to 50. Thank you. Messages. Let's do everything. We need more people. More people. Need one more. Let's go to new recruits. Get a Zailer. There we go. 25 out of 25. Spend some time with the family. Read the paper. Time with the family. There we go. Terra's now down to 26. Nice, nice. Let's get another agent. I'm burning a lot of my Admiralty's favor. Ah, well, it's fine. Alright, that's that. Nothing to sell here. No. Let's turn in the port reports. Gonna keep Mount Palmerston for Adam's Way. Since that is one of the keys to gain entrance.
I wish these were sorted better. They're all like jumbled up. Alright, there we go. Oh, right. He wanted the strategic information, right? Or vital intelligence. Which I can craft from the two strategic, strategic information that I have. But do I want to give it to him? Not really. Hold on. Let me go back to the diplomat. Do you take... Right. She takes vital intelligence and she pays more, right? And I like money. I really do like money. So let's uh, let's go craft it. What should I use? Z Stories 19. Got 24 members of Distant Shores. Let's use that. Here you go. 500 Echo. Not bad. Oh, I've. Wait, I've gained Admiralty's favor. I thought you'd lose it for doing. for working with her, because they're kind of at odds. Huh. Rising Supremacy of the Dawn Machine. Whoa, I'm helping the Dawn Machine by helping her? Um, I don't know how I feel about that. She serves London but has dangerous allies. Hmm. Alright, port reports turned in. That's done. That's done. Uh, I don't think I really need to repair my ship. It's fine. It's not that hurt. Got a decent amount of money now. Let's see if I can turn in the Harlot Fry to... The Alarming Scholar. I feel like she would take it, but apparently not. Hmm, what about the Labyrinth? Ah! A rare creature to the Labyrinth. There you go. Are those... Are those young siren serpents? Marvelous. Marvelous. We'll pay you handsomely. Of course we will. Ooh, 500 Echo. That is actually really good. Okay, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable about the amount of money I have. Decorum's Reward. No, my lord. We do not use the Zaylor's term here in the Labyrinth. At Z, my lord, it may be Neptune's... Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Something. But here we care. We have a care for our manners. Your payment, my lord. Do come back if you find another. Well, it's called, um... Harlot Fry, right? So maybe this is Neptune's Harlot or something? I, I don't know. I guess they're touchy about it. I don't believe I have any wounds, so I don't think I need to rest. I think we're pretty much good. I just need to buy some supplies and restock, of course, and oh my god, I shouldn't have bought that much fuel, because I just got so much fuel from all the port reports. Oh my god. I almost have too much fuel, holy crap. I kind of do have too much fuel. That was a mistake. Okay, so um, I want more Blemigans to propagate. I want to propagate the hell out of some Blemigans. So, why don't we... Actually, I should sell my linen, right? Yeah, it's all the linen. Give me some more storage space. Oh, you know what? I'm forgetting something else. Let's buy a cask of mushroom wine. That means we can finally complete this quest with the brisk campaigner we can celebrate. Celebrate good times, come on! Wine. You and the campaigner toast her rebirth. Not a rebirth, she corrects you. Perhaps a pre-death. Hush, don't look at me like that. I'm a realist. Have another glass of wine. She has survived. She has found a cure. If anyone could, she points out, it would be me after all. You're lucky it was me who fell ill. Her wisdom has been tested, tempered, and not found wanting. Well, quite. But you were an invaluable assistant. A fine vintage, this. Another... Glash? Gla glash? What the hell's a glash? Another glass? Glash? <laughs> Why is that an H? 
<laughs> I don't get it. Is she drunk? You and she are safe, and all shall be well. And all manner of things shall be well. Your very fine health. I now have an indomitable campaigner. I lost her. It's the same thing as like with Maybe's daughter. She literally transformed into a different character. Okay, uh, does she have better stats? Increase my hearts. Or proposition her. Yeah, I, I don't remember what her stats were before, but let's see what they are now. <laughs> death, where is thy sting? Where indeed. Don't mess with a campaigner, Death. Okay, so she's turned into a complete badass is what I'm taking from this. So how does she compare to my current surgeon now? Hearts 6, hearts 5, or... Oh, wait, no, hearts 6, hearts 9. Oh man, I, I don't know how she was now, but now I'm pretty sure she's... I mean, I don't know how she was then, before she transformed, but... Now I'm pretty sure she's way better. So she gives me three more hearts. And instead of three pages, she gives me five iron. Now pages plus three from the Haunted Doctor is pretty good. Pages are valuable. But still, I think she's better. So. Sorry, Haunted Doctor. Alright. Cool. Now, what was I doing? Did I even end up selling my linen? Or did I not even get there? Nope, I sold it. Okay, uh, supplies and... Prisoner's honey. Let's get the prisoner's honey first. Well, actually, let's get the supplies first. I really want to get as much supplies as possible. Although, if I'm going to Adam's Way, maybe I should stop at Port Carnelian. I think I should, and I can get supplies at Port Carnelian for cheaper than they are here at London, so I actually don't need a shit ton of supplies. Yeah, I don't need a ton of supplies. How many Blemigans do I want? Let's get seven more. They're fun. I want to keep them on board. I've got plenty of space anyway, so... yeah. In fact, let's get... Uh, let's just get one more supply, just in case. Alright, and we're good. We are good, right? I've got everything for the Iron Republic. Firkins of uh, Prisoner's Honey for the Utter Shroom. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, we're good. Alright, let's head down to the Iron Republic and let's get a weapon. Which is also going to free up a massive amount of hold space. Because that's going to use up my devil, my 12 Devil Bone Dice and my 7 Stygian Ivory. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode with me getting the weapon. I want to check that thing out and see how it is. Hello. My hunger's currently zero, so I might as well dissect it. <laughs> One fragment. Woohoo! How exciting. Let's pop over here real quick for a port report. Nightmare again. Poor report. Should I explore? Sure. Might find another Harlot Fry. Oh, <laughs> actually, there we go. This is the event that can lead to the possibility of getting a Harlot Fry. If I'm successful again, let's approach. Rar. Let's fight it. Oh, <laughs> once again, I succeeded. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, what is worth the least? It is the fuel, without a doubt the fuel. I can replace that for 8 Echo at the Iron Republic. 
Everything else is worth quite a bit more than that. Okay. Well, there's another 500 just for the Harlot Fry alone when I sell it to the uh, zoo or whatever it was back at London. Take a stop at the Cumian Canal. Maybe get a move in the great game, although I think by the time I get there, my something waste me in port probably won't have returned. Never mind. Perfect timing. Let's get a port report. Listen for surface gossip, vision of the surface. Awesome. No move in the great game, but that's okay. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hello. I'm gonna finish the unfinished, if you know what I mean. That was an awkward but very effective fight. <laughs> a crate of human souls. So a bunch of unfinished revolutionaries and a crate of human souls. What were they planning? Get some hydrogen. And... Let's do the thing, the Tittering Artificer's Project. This is a forward-mounted weapon with unusual characteristics. It takes a secret and a Stygian Ivory and the Devil Bone Dice. Let's do it. Icarus in black. It is done. The flesh is not important, you see. It's the passion, the lessons. The spirit forged like a spear. All the spears. Into the hearts of monsters. Did I mention I don't like monsters? Monsters. Kill them for me. With my weapon. Go forth and crack Mount Nomad. Yes. Okay. I was wondering whether I should... Yeah, I was debating whether I should actually fight Mount Nomad before. I guess if I have a weapon specifically for Mount Nomad, then yes, I probably should. What the heck does this thing do? This desperate, demented device inflicts apocalyptic damage on even the greatest Z-Beasts. But it fires only one thing. Monster Hunters. <laughs> what? 
You may find them in the Chilinate and Khan's Shadow and occasionally elsewhere. One doomed monster hunter per use. Holy shit! Okay, so it looks like, looking at the stats, it's like a standard weapon. And the main difference is just that it costs one doomed monster hunter per use, and it's vastly, vastly more effective against life rather than a hole. So it doesn't do much to hole, it only does 50 damage to a hole. You could use it on a normal ship, but that'd be extremely costly and stupid. But life damage, 500. And Mount Nomad has a thousand hit points, so if you had two doomed monster hunters, then two shots and Mount Nomad's dead. That is crazy! And awesome. Alright, well. Now I just need to remember what doomed monster hunters cost. I think they're pretty expensive. In fact, don't they cost like a valuable... what the hell is that called? The, the thing worth a thousand? You know, the thing worth a thousand. No, seriously, what the hell is that? What is it called? Ah. Uh, oh, Captivating Treasure, right. Yeah. If I remember right, I thought it cost a Captivating Treasure to get a doomed monster hunter or something. Which means, that's some really expensive ammo. Jesus Christ. I still don't think I'm going to fight Mount Nomad anytime soon. Just getting the ammo alone would probably cost a couple thousand. And it depends on what do you want to risk. You know, do you want to save money and only fire one doomed monster hunter at Mount Nomad and try to take down the rest of its health using standard weapons? Can you switch out weapons during combat? Because if I can't switch out weapons and go back to my Memento More, then my combat effectiveness is going to be trash. Because I'll only have my deck weapon. And this thing is not very good. Huh. Yeah, I'm probably still not going to fight it anytime soon. Okay, anything else to do? Don't want a port report. That's creepy. Wait a minute, can you do the Tittering Artificers project again? C can you just make another one? Why would you want another one? That is bizarre. Check out the market, I guess. Well, I've got plenty of hold space, and I feel like dark drop coffee beans often come up as a, a thing. Used to open doors and stuff like that, so I think I'm just going to get one. Just to have it. I don't know. We'll see. Might come in handy. I've got enough hold space that I can kind of carry that stuff around. I'm also going to want to buy enough fuel for the entire rest of my journey. And the rest of my journey... is going to be pretty long. But I also need space for other stuff. Because I'm going to get a bunch of supplies as well. Uh, that'll be fine. Yeah. This will be 10 hold space, and I'm going to burn a lot of that off getting over to the other places. Okay. So, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Completed quite a bit, actually. Started at the Chelinate, went to the Empire of Hands, and then kind of across here, Gators Moor and Port Cecil. Mount Palmerston, back to London, and then down to the Iron Republic, and completed that quest. So in the next episode, what I'm going to do is go to Port Carnelian, and try to do the snuffer kind of stuff again, and maybe try to put one of my agents into Port Carnelian. Also buy some supplies there. Then go to the Utter's Room and trade my firkins of prisoner's honey for more blemigans. Then go to Adam's Way and try to do the, uh, the one officer's cannibal kind of quest to see if I can finally resolve that. And then, from there, probably over to the Empire of Hands to deliver the fuel. Yeah, sounds like a plan. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.